Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. Today I'm going to show you how to produce these amazingly gorgeous chrome and holographic water marbled nails. For all of you out there who've struggled in the past, struggle no more. Stay watching and I'll show you how to achieve these perfectly each and every time. Begin by applying base coat to all 10 nails. I'll be putting links in the description of all the products that I use. After performing your cuticle work, cleanse all the nails with your preferred nail cleanser or polish remover. Then apply your base coat thinly and neatly, remembering to cap those ends. Next apply two coats of a holographic silver polish, remembering to let each coat dry in between. I'm using Colour Club Harp on it. Once that's applied and dry, apply a peel off base coat on the skin around the nails to make removal easier later. Allow that to dry and once it's dry it should turn clear. For the water marbling design I'm using Model Zone Chrome Collection. This one is Chrome Silver, Chrome Cerise, Chrome Blue, Chrome Gold and finally Chrome Pink. Fill a dish or cup with room temperature water. If you live in a hard water area you might be better using bottled water and you're going to need your polishes a brush, a fine pointed tool or cocktail stick, some tweezers, a cotton bud or q-tip and finally a pad soaked in acetone. Make sure you've given your polishes a really good shake first and unscrew the lids ready to work quickly plus get your tool ready and your acetone soaked pad. Then we're simply going to apply one drop of each colour to the water these polishes are amazing to use because they spread really easily and you can actually touch the surface of the water with the brush tip if you want it to work quicker. Now take your pointed tool or cocktail stick and starting at the centre of the design, working in opposite directions, draw out to the side of the bowl to anchor the design and stop it tearing. Remember to clean your tool on your acetone soaked pad in between and then create your design drawing in from one colour from the outside and popping your tool down in the centre to hold the design in place. Once you've created a design you like, you're ready to apply your nails to the design. You can either do this with all four nails at once or with one at a time. Remember to keep the nails pointed downwards to stop bubbles forming and just pop those nails into the bowl and hold them in place. Then taking your Q-tip or cotton bud, remove any excess polish off the surface of the water to stop it ruining the design. Now again, using your fine pointed tool, just go around the skin and the cuticle area, separating the polish from the nail and the skin. If you do find that you have any rough areas or bubbles underneath the polish, then just use a dry brush to pat these down into place. If the nails are still quite wet, then just take a hairdryer on a very low heat setting and quickly dry over the nails. Once they're dry, take your tweezers and peel off the peel off base coat. It should take the polish with it, leaving a nice clean and easy design. Using a brush dampened with acetone, remove any remaining polish off the skin and around the nail. If there's a lot of polish left on the skin, just dampen a pad with remover and rub it off easily. Now you're ready to apply your top coat. Apply this generously with a lot on the brush to make sure that you don't smear the design when you're applying it. And here we have the finished nails and don't they look absolutely sensational? These polishes are amazing for water marbling with so if you've had any problems water marbling in the past I highly recommend them. Now stay tuned if you want to find out a quick and easy way to do this for your toenails. You're going to need a piece of shiny surfaced paper. I'm using the paper from a nail form, but you could try photo paper. 
just apply a thin, even coat of top coat to the paper and set it aside to dry. Produce your water marbling design as we did before, just applying one drop of each colour quickly to the surface of the water. Draw your design in using a fine pointed tool being cleaned in between each stroke. Then apply your paper shiny surface down onto the polish, pat into place and then lift off carefully. If the paper is very wet then just take a hairdryer on a low heat setting and quickly but gently dry it. Using a dry gel brush, remove any bubbles from underneath the polish and remove any excess water. Top coat your nail or your toenail if you're doing this on toes and if you choose you can cut the design to size for each toe individually to get the maximum amount from it. I'm just going to use this whole piece on my nail and remove the design where the top coat is using a pair of tweezers. Choose your favourite part of the design and then apply it to the centre of the nail and again using a dry gel brush just pat down into place. Trim any excess design off carefully with a pair of manicure scissors. Then using a brush dampened with acetone or remover Pat around the sides of the nails and remove any excess polish that you don't want in place and push the design over the end of the nail to seal the end. Finally you're ready to top coat and apply this generously onto the nail to avoid it smudging. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Full details of all the products that I've used are available in the description. If you'd like to see more like this, please remember to subscribe. And for more step-by-steps and reviews, please see my blog, natashalee.info.